What's up? You are now tuning into the Wig and Shade Hour with Chris with an X. And this is my first video. I jump it back. I'm back. Alright, so I know everybody loves some good shade and a good wig. That's just the formula. And I'm going to take my crack at it. Alright, so for my first video, I just want to talk about why is all these trash ass SoundCloud, SoundCloud rappers coming for the greats like Biggie and Tupac? Talking about Tupac is boring. Tupac is a bitch ass nigga. First of all, these de delayed motherfuckers. Tupac and Biggie, when uh, you know I'm a 90s kid, when they was out, they was the main. Uh, of course, it was Biggie and Tupac. Everybody else was either entree or appetizer or filler. And that's exactly what you, you little SoundCloud niggas would be if they was alive today. And now I know a lot of people would be like, oh, well, that's their opinion. They have an opinion. Of course, like I said, that's their opinion. I know why they would say it probably sounds boring because you're a trap rapper. That's hype music. But realistically, um, will you be remembered in five years? Will you be remem remembered to the end of time? No, you won't. Hell, people like Tupac Michael Jackson, they'll probably be remembered all the way to the world ends, and then the world end, and it'll uh, be re recreated, and you'll still find artifacts with Tupac and Michael Jackson. The world start again, and uh, instead of King Tut, It'll be a uh, you know Michael Jackson like this. It'll be my uh, to a Tupac bust. You know, will you have longevity? I know a lot of people talk about. Oh well, it, you know, uh, it's all about now. It's all about who's hot. Uh, yeah, you could keep saying that, but you know, realistically. Some of y'all probably won't be even remembered in two years because you have a, a lot of people in this generation have a short attention span. I mean, I was seeing Rod Digger's uh, Twitter and she was saying that a lot of y'all need to pray for longevity. You know, look at Nikki out here gasping for air. And I'm not saying, you know, Nikki, you know, I guess is a queen or whatever in her own right. But when you get too cocky and we stay t t talking, um, mad ish about people, especially legends, that's what happens to you. You know. You gotta start with some respect. I feel like and I know you get into the um, the the vlogs and all of that by being negative, but no, this shit has gotta stop. You know, Tupac had he was the rap rap virgin of Michael Jackson. You know, he had skills, talent, sex appeal, um he could rap on different beats and um just like Biggie you know and I feel like Diddy you know helped out Biggie cause Biggie was you know a, sh a street rapper and so like when he uh, Juicy Fruit is a, a very monumental song because he's rapping hardcore on a, a 70's beat uh, M tunes and Juicy Fruit not a lot of people can do that just like people trying to say Aaliyah uh, what was so great about her she can sing sweet on soft beat, like that song, um, At Your Best, the remix. You know, when I feel, and it was soft, and but you got that beat, boom, boom. You know, not a lot of people can do that. But a lot of people on SoundCloud can sound the same and mumble and talk about uh, Xanax and shit. Stupid ass stuff that's going to get people uh, in an early grave. You know, like I said, Put some respect on people's name. You know, you may you talk about you better than Tupac. Like I said, you will not be remembered in 20 years. You know, y'all need to step your craft up. You know, or stop culture vulching. Or just, you know, rap about, you know. Some of y'all, like I said, sound the same. Some of y'all music is just for hype music. You go in the club or people have sex to it, that's it. Tupac's music, Biggie's music help people. They told storylines. They did stuff that other people cannot do. And they paved the way for y'all. Because, like I said, in the 90s, 
you know, when to become a rapper, first of all, you had to back then you had to have talent. You could just sing about anything, or put on a crazy look, and talk about anything. You had to first of all, you had to underground. A lot of rappers started underground battling, you know, freestyling, and just going at it. Then when they decided to, uh, you know, shop for a record deal, they had to go up the Hollywood Boulevard and go up and down the street, you know, just to get somebody to look look at the uh, to listen to the demo, and then once you listen to the demo, then before you get signed, you have to rap in front of 20 executives to see if they want to invest money in you. Then after that, you have to create an album and all of that. And nowadays, you ain't got to do that. You just upload your shit to SoundCloud and, and pray you pop. You know, I'm working on my rap craft, you know. I'm trying to freestyle. I ain't that good yet. But rap back then, because the history of rap is um, poetry, poetry that's written, poetry that's uh, spoken fast against the beat. And then a lot of uh, guys start saying, oh, you know, I can make this into real music. And that's when you had, like, rap starting in the 80s and then the 90s. It got gangsta and so forth and so forth. You know what I mean? We're not mad that the formula changed. Is that you need to keep the formula what the fuck it started off as. You can look crazy with rainbow hair and dreads, all that. You just need to know how to rap and keep your, and have talent. And so, I feel like a lot of this trash music, like I said. And we know the times change, but it, it always should keep its formula. Always should keep its formula. And a lot of y'all do not understand that. And y'all think just because y'all popping right now, you always gonna be popping. No, you won't. Cause just like it changed for you, it could change what next year. And you know, in the nineties, they had poetry slams and stuff where you could go to um, read your poetry against um, some music in front of an audience, or you could. Uh, or you could just speak it without the music. But like I said, a lot of people, this internet creates a persona for people. And some people, they can't do what these artists do. Yeah, you could throw money and make somebody up. But people like Michael Jackson, like Tupac, they lasted because they had, they had the full package. And, you know, like I said, they had the underground rap, they had the battle. They have to freestyle, you know. A lot of these rappers, they can't do all that. They don't do all that. So, in conclusion, put some respect on uh, Tupac's name. Stop using it in all all the other greats. And rest in peace to um, Flavian and Ear, Craig Mack. You will be missed. That's another hip-hop um, legend. And if you ain't no hip-hop head, then shut up. And he is a legend. He is a legend too. Alright, this has been the Shade and Wig Hour with Chris with an X. The comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, I'm about to be out.